Hey everyone, it's Sarah. I'm not sure this week if Chris and I are going to be doing a video together or separate, but I wanted to quickly just come on and talk to you about what I'm doing um, by myself. This past week hasn't been that great. I was up a half a pound, so that was my away in for this week is up half a pound. Um, which obviously I'm not overly excited about, but um, it's not a huge gain and whatever. So I'm moving forward, and if you watched my midweek update last week, you know that I'm starting with a clean slate. So every plan, workout, whatever that I had said I'm doing, it's I'm cleaning my slate, and I'm starting over because I just felt like I was jumping around from thing to thing to thing, and I, I just I need to find a solid plan. Otherwise, it's too chaotic for me, and I can't. I just don't feel like I can be successful like that because if I'm changing what I'm doing. This day I'm doing this, and then two days from now I decide to do this, and then, I, oh, I read this book, and I should do this, and it's just become too overwhelming for me. So this past week I've been kind of evaluating and reevaluating and figuring out what plan is going to work for me and what I think will make me successful. And so I have decided to go back and join Weight Watchers, which I was doing Weight Watchers about a year ago, and I just kind of let life get too busy, and I stopped going to meetings and... It kind of became a domino effect in that aspect. So, I'm going back to Weight Watchers Saturday mornings. Probably the first meeting in the morning. It's at 7 a.m., I think. Which would be perfect for me because my husband and son will be home sleeping. And I can just um, get up, go to the meeting early in the morning. Which is something I kind of like. I liked doing that last year because it kind of, it was quiet in the morning. I got to drive out there peacefully and just have time to myself and I like the way the meetings work. I really like the meeting leader and I like having a weekly official weigh-in where I have to be accountable to the people there. Um, it's helpful for me. So basically I'm probably going to go Saturday and start because next weekend my husband and I are going to a marriage conference in Detroit. So we'll be gone Friday through Sunday for that, and then then it'll end up being two weeks before I can get to the next Saturday morning meeting. Um, so I'm probably going to go Saturday and sign up and get started with that. And I am officially saying, unless it, like, for some reason does not work at all, which I know is not going to happen because Weight Watchers has worked for me before, I am going to start Weight Watchers and do it every single day until I'm at my goal weight. And I'm not going to, you know, let read all these other books and magazines and everything and whatever people are saying. I'm just going to shut it out and focus on what I'm doing and take the time that I need to get where I want to be because I feel like I've been trying to jump way ahead, you know, a bunch of steps. You know, I read this book and I want to eat a vegan diet, which I would like to do. I'm I would be very interested in eating a vegan diet, but I'm just not there yet. It's too, maybe I'm making excuses, but sometimes you just have to be real with, real honest with yourself and know if it's, if it's the right time or not, because if it's not, then you're just kind of setting yourself up for failure. And I am trying my hardest to get to the place where I can be as successful as I can be because I am so sick and tired and I've been feeling stressed out about day after day being kind of on plan and then kind of not on plan and being all over the place and for doing that for like a year and a half or more I'm just like to the end of my rope I just want to know my plan do my plan and lose the weight and be done with it okay so you can tell me I'm coming up with excuses but that's what's going on with me so as for exercise um, I have made it to the gym a few times this week um, and I've kind of reevaluated that aspect of my weight loss situation as well and I've decided to start taking water aerobics classes um, I'm gonna have to register for them and I just bought a new swimsuit which is was shipped to me today so I should be getting that soon it was from Pennsylvania so that's only a couple states away so it should be here soon um, and so I'm going to get a new swimsuit because my old one is not comfortable. I don't feel comfortable wearing it in public. And I should 
mention that I want to thank Nicole Ceramic Heart 150. I don't know if she watches my videos, but um, either way, she made a video for Hot for Halloween a couple weeks ago about getting out of your comfort zone, and she inspired me to also get into the pool at the gym and just do it because she was talking about how she was uncomfortable doing it, and I have also been wanting to take water aerobics since we joined this gym, but I've just let fear kind of decide whether or not I did that and obviously I didn't because I was too afraid so I'm just gonna get out there and do it and I'm like 99% sure that I'm gonna love it because I love swimming and I know if I'm in the pool first I won't be able to tell that I'm sweating because I really I honestly don't like sweating it irritates me um, and I think it'll be a good distraction for me I won't be like staring at the seconds ticking down on the machine like I always do um, and I just think it'll be a good stress reliever for me. It'll be low impact, um, which would be good for me because I'm a lot heavier than some people. And so it'll help me reduce my risk of injuries and all that stuff. Um, and I'm just really confident that this is something that I'm going to really enjoy. And I'm so thankful for Nicole for mentioning it and inspiring me to go out and do it because I, I'm pretty sure that once I get out there and I do my first class, um, and I get to meet all the other girls doing it, it'll be a good thing for me, and I'm excited about that. And it works perfect for my schedule because it's from 9 to 10 every morning, which I usually get to the gym around then, and um, I don't have classes then, and since I'm a stay-at-home mom, it works perfect. And then when we get home, I can give my son a snack and put him to bed, and it'll just work really great for me. So, <sighs> sorry if this is long and drawn out basically all I wanted to tell you was I'm starting Weight Watchers and I'm starting water aerobics classes sometime within the next few weeks um, I have to get registered for both I have to find money to pay for both and but once it's all set up that is what I'm doing and I'm feeling so much calmer that I know what I'm doing um, and I'm really determined to make weekly videos and not take them down like I always do when I don't do well. I want to make weekly videos whether I'm doing great or not. I'm going to post them on this channel until the end of Hot for Halloween and beyond until I'm at my goal weight. <sighs> Just a huge relief of stress to decide what I'm doing and to make that decision and to go do it. So that's what I have to do this next week is I have to go and do that's the thing about these videos is it's really easy to get on here. It's what I've been doing for the past year and a half. It's easy to get on here and say, I'm going to do this, this, and this. But once you turn off the camera, you have to actually go do it. And so that's my next step is to go do it.